everyone hope you guys are having a great sunday and thank you guys for joining me talking all things masters of the universe now before we get started i want to make a quick correction on yesterday's review the source review i told you guys that we'll be uh reviewing wave 11 from origins and it's not it's this is actually wave 10 so i apologize for that but we'll be looking at wave 10 and all the figures that came in the wave Starting with Whiplash, who will be the main focus of today's review. Evil Tail, Thrashing Warrior. We have King Randor, Heroic Ruler of Eternia. Looks like Burger King. We have the Tila Zor 2-pack Deluxe. Right there. Then we have Digitino, the Number Genius from the Sunman line. And finally, we have Trapjaw, evil and armed for combat, but his midi comic book version. So there they are. So stay tuned to the channel for each of these reviews, please. Alright. Give me one second. These guys out of the way. We can have Whiplash in front and center. Here he is. All right, here's good old Whiplash. In the packaging, with those red rocks blasting from the front, the Master Universe logo, the 40th anniversary sticker on the top left corner. I really like the that Origins has captured the look and feel of the vintage 80s line, you know, with, with more articulation. Okay. So we'll put it on the back. And there's some gorgeous artwork of Whiplash taking off Fisto with Battle Armor He-Man coming to help out. The character, he comes with a spear. You can pose them to different positions if you wish. Of course, the cross sell of the figures in Wave 10. All right. Coming back around. And of course, with all new waves comes a new comic book. And here it is. Right here. Once again, amazing comic. But if you notice one thing, is that this comic that I got right here was the multi-language version. So if you notice in the in the there is two versions of, of these. There is the I would say the States version or US version and the multi-language version. And the difference between the multi-language versions of these is that you would see whiplash up here but you will not see evil tail uh, thrashing warrior right here you see uh different words right here in this bubble here and the comic itself right here will not have any words like this one does you notice there's like no words you know them talking it's just photo it's just pictures well, there you go but still beautiful artwork and it's the same exact and then it's the same exact figure. Okay. The the US version or the States version and the multi language version, the figure itself is the same. It's the exact same figure. Okay? Well, the only difference is is you know, they remove, you know, the, this this title here off the packaging. And there's a different words on the bubble. And like the comic right here, there's no words here. Just to let you know. But there you go. But still beautiful artwork as well. Of course, the cross sell of all the figures in Wave 10. Okay, but there you go. And I do have a loose version of Whiplash. A classic character I must have for any collector from the Motu line. And like I said, they kept the look in, in of him. Well, there's one problem 
and that is that that Mattel has, for some strange reason, one of Whiplash's biggest, you know, coolest things was his tail whipping effect, and they removed that from this figure. One of the times where he just, they, they, for some strange reason, Mattel decided to take that out. And this is what he looked like back in the 80s, right here. There's the vintage look of him. And there's that action call out. Because remember, in the 80s, you know, their waist was spring loaded. And when he twisted his, his, his body, his tail would whip around. That's what he looks like. Back in the 80s. And his original name, before they decided on Whiplash, was going to be called Lizard Man. That was one of the names, you know, floating around before they decided to call him Whiplash. But there you go. That's what he looked like in the packaging. And you can see in the back of this particular art, you know, like the Origins version, you know, take... If you remove um, Fisto from Origins, you have almost the same exact uh, artwork. There's Battle Armor He-Man right there. There's Whiplash. But yeah, for some strange reason, this is the times where, you know, I don't understand why Mattel decided to remove that action call-out from the figure. A staple for this figure. I mean... I guess the only reason why they did that is you can remove... The that's why because you can remove you know the waist and put you know change it around if you wish to a different uh, pair of legs. But I think this is one of those times where you know they could have kept oops they could have kept it you know without you know they could have not uh, you know, allowed the 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 person or the collector to remove him from the waist and had that spring action you know feature that you know that would allow us to. Have that action called out of him. And I really think that, you know, Mattel really dropped the ball here on that particular, you know, feature. I mean, it's Whiplash, and one of his, you know, strengths is his tail. And they should have given us that spring loaded waist to, you know, spring and have him, like, whip his tail around. You know, I wouldn't have mind. Personally, if you know, we weren't able to like pull him apart from his waist, that it was spring loaded, you know. But other than that, I mean, they absolutely captured the look of the vintage, you know, looking whiplash. Of course, we're getting that the other, the uh, Masterverse whiplash or the new attorney whiplash pretty soon. I'm trying to keep my, you know, my eyes out for him so I can add it to the collection. Now, the tail. I think you can remove it. I think the tail, you got to snap the tail on his back. Um, and I don't want to do that right now. I'm afraid I might break it or something like that. But he does come in, the tail comes in, you know, separately. You can see in the back, right there. It snaps onto his back. I don't know if you can see that or not. You know. But yeah, I mean, it's, ooh. but still, I mean, an amazing character. You know, I, like I said, I love how they captured the look. Of that classic 80s version of him. But I feel really bummed out that we did not get that action call out. It's one of those times where they should have kept it in. I really do. And and I want, you know, your opinion about that. About him. Like, how do you feel the fact that they removed that action call out? You know, that may, maybe it'll give us a, you know, maybe it'll do a redo. You know, another version of him that will might have that action call out. You know, I fingers crossed. That'd be amazing. But you know, but other other than that, I mean, it, it, the the look is amazing. They stand about that same five point five. You know what? I'm gonna put you right there. Yeah, you're just being difficult right now. But but like I said, they kept that five point five scaling from that vintage line. You can move the head if you wish. Arms would go around. You bend at the arms, you bend at the legs, you bend at, you can twist his body, big old splits, you can move the arms around.
All right, but there you go. There's good old whiplash. All right, guys. I'd like to take the time out to thank my subscribers. If you made it this far in the video and you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, guys. I love talking with you guys and with all things Master Universe from Origins through Masterverse or Revelations to CGI. Hit that like button, guys, and hit that notification bell when you know when I upload new videos. And on Monday, we'll be looking at King Randor, his first version. Because we did get that 2000X version uh, a couple waves later. So we'll be taking a look at him. Share this video, guys. Who has a love and a passion for collecting Motu figures like Origins and Masterverse and CGI. So, guys, hope you guys have a great Sunday and a, and a nice weekend. And I'll see you guys on Monday. Take care, guys.